Hi everyone, I've wanted to do a tag video for a little while now. I like doing them because they're quick and a bit of fun. So I came across one on Remembered Reads um, channel. I'll leave a link to hers down below. It's the Booktube Geek Tag, originally created by JD Archer. I'll leave a link to that video down below as well for you. And it's effectively a group of questions to find out about your inner geek. So question one is favourite TV series. If you'd asked me 15 years ago, I'd have said Doctor Who, without a shadow of a doubt. Having barely seen any of it, I'd have said Doctor Who every time. Um, I'm, things have changed. I'm still a big fan of Who, but just not quite as much anymore. These days I kind of like Outlander. A bit of Scottish kilts stuff. Um, and Once Upon a Time, I'm quite a big fan of this fairy tale series. Um, I just really like the characters in it and the whole concept of learning more about our fairy tale stories and characters. And I just really like the way it's over. And I know a lot of people aren't very sort of chuffed with how it's gone and progressed over the years, but I still like it. I think there's something really magical about it and it really appeals to me. Question two is your favourite movie. Now, that's a bit of a problem in this house because I have about 20 favourite movies, so it's really hard to pin down just one movie. And it depends when you ask me. Some days it will be one film and other days it will be another film. Um, so, if it had been a Disney film, I could have picked from Little Mermaid, Beauty and the Beast, Utopia, Moana, um, Big Hero 6, Finding Dory. There's a lot of Disney's that I love, Atlantis, uh, Mulan, for, but I like them for lots of different reasons. If you'd asked me to pick my favourite classic film, I could have come out with Anna Green Gables or North by Northwest. Rear Window was a big one I really liked. Um, but as this is a geeky tag, I've gone for Guardians of the Galaxy. It was going to be this one or Ant-Man or Deadpool, but I've picked this one because this is really fun and we can watch it as a family and just really enjoy it and it's got a talking tree in it i mean it's Groot and he's just wonderful and lovely and then then there's rocket and he's just like so cute and ah, but he's just like lovely so yeah guardians of the galaxy and i cannot wait for the second one to come out question three is a tricky one because it's what is your favorite video or computer game and i don't play video games or computer games very much i'm not very good at them i have terrible trouble lining up with what i want my character to do on screen with what i'm trying to get it to do on the keyboard we play through the pc um and i get stuck really easily and need a hand getting myself out of a corner that i've got jammed into i have a few sherlock holmes games and i quite like the look of them and the feel of them and i'm a big holmes fan um, but I can't always do them. I generally need a bit of help because I can't leap over something and the camera angle I can't line it up so I can see what I'm doing So I would say probably my favorite ones though are the Lego games like Star Wars and Indiana Jones um, particularly But even then I need a hand sometimes because I can't get my character to do what I wanted to do I, I've got to jump over something and I can't do it and he just keeps falling down this ravine and like please somebody help I need to do this and I can't do this a bit so yeah I'm not a big games fan but that's not a bad one question four is what cartoon did you love um I'm gonna go with one that I've got from my childhood I, I'm a big Danger Mouse fan and I really like the new version that they've done I think it's, it's got all the elements of the original with the modernism in it which is really nice um I particularly liked anything by Crossgrove Hall they did things like Transylvania Pet Shop, Danger Mouse, uh, Camp Duckula, and all those favourites. But they also did a stop motion series called The Wind in the Willows. Uh, this is the film that they did and then they did a TV series afterwards. And the detail in this is just amazing. I mean, this, is, this was done just before Wallace and Gromit and Aardman were doing all their thing. But the amount of love and time and effort that went into this it must have been so expensive to make at the time but it's beautiful and i really must get this on dvd because i haven't got the whole set and i've only got a couple of them on video but i just really like them and i like how they've captured the characters and they've got the actors right for for each character so um yeah i i really like the wind of the Millers. Question five is what's your favourite comic book? I've picked up two here to share with you. 
One is Frey, this is Joss Whedon. Uh, it's a spin-off from Buffy the Vampire Slayer and it, it's set hundreds of years in the future where there are no more slayers and demons run amok. Um, and then I just want to go amok, amok, amok! Sorry. Um, so I really like it because I've read that while I'm still watching Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Um, I was late to the show. And I just, I liked the whole concept and the world that was built in it. And it's really cool now because I collect the Buffy comic series. So it's seeing them develop the storyline of Buffy so it ends up where Frey is set. So that's quite an interesting path we're taking at the moment. The other comic book series I really like is Runaways. Um, this is set one um, collection. And it follows a group of teenagers who find out that their parents are the big bads in their city. They don't want anything to do with that. They've decided to run away and make their own lives. Some have magical powers, some are geniuses, some are aliens. And I really think it's a clever telling of a group of heroes that don't really want to get involved. Um, de and also dealing with all the coming of age stuff that we have to deal with anyway as a teenager. This goes through time travel, monsters, um, big bads that we know from the Marvel Universe. And I really, really like it. And in fact, one of these teenagers has a pet dinosaur, which is kind of cool. It deals with big issues as well. There's romance in here. There's um, gender equality in here. There's even death and loss in here. And who you are as a person, which is a lot of what teenagers struggle to find out when they're growing up. So I think it's a really good series. I think it's a very underrated series. I'm kind of looking forward to the TV series that's being made um, to see how they take the themes and the characters in this and put them on the screen. If it's done as well as Jessica Jones has been done, then I'll be quite happy. Okay, question six. Have you been to any geeky conventions? I used to go to a few Who conventions when it was just me. Uh, it's not so easy now because obviously I've got the family. Um, I've done a few memorabilia and comic cons at Birmingham and London which are kind of fun, um, but I would say the most regular geeky thing that I go to nowadays would be the Knitting and Sewing Show at Alexandra Palace in London. But, you know, that's if you count that as geeky or not. Question seven, what place have you visited that make you feel really geeky? Um, anytime I step into a bookshop that's like full and just full of books, um, that brings out a big smile in my face and it's like wow and all that. Um, also Forbidden Planet down in London. It's the biggest one that they've got as far as I'm aware. Um, I certainly have only ever been to Cambridge and Edinburgh one and they're a lot lot smaller. But stepping through those doors you have to remind yourself to keep walking because there's people behind you wanting to come in. And it's just amazing to go in there and see all this stuff and books and toys and DVDs and posters and comics from all aspects of the geeky world and it's just so amazing and you're in there and you can talk to anybody because they're all in there for the same reason like you that they've all got a, a love of something in that shop and that's kind of cool and question eight is what would make your geeky dream come true I don't think I've actually got a geeky dream um I would like to go to Disneyland but I think that's happening so it's kind of fulfilled now but I can't think of a dream in particular that I want fulfilling geek-wise, no. Um, sorry, a bit boring I suppose that. Uh, anyway, that was the booktube geek tag. Um, if you want to do it, leave me a link below or leave me um, comments. I'll put the questions in the box for you so if you want to answer them you can. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Embrace your inner geek. Bye.